Hey everyone, welcome to Art Comes Alive Scorched Earth. I hope everyone's having a great day. So, I didn't get this guy on film when I taped him, but I finally got one of these guys knocked down. And um, as you can hear, he's quite vocal. But, uh, so yeah, uh, ended up finally getting him down by uh, riding on my wyvern and chasing him and shooting him with the photon rifle. Um, he didn't take that much. He was only level 200. And, uh, first off, I think he looks absolutely amazing. But, um, truthfully, uh, now I don't know about the higher level ones, but truthfully, as the mod dinos go, he's a bit disappointing. Um, let's see real quick. I, like I said, I only attained him at a level 200, and he's a uh, level 319 right now. And, uh, I've pumped almost entirely damage. And, um, as you can see, we'll come down here real quick to the Zanke. He does only a little bit of damage. Now, his real saving grace is his fire attack. And as you can see, I'm really far up. And it goes all the way down. Like It's not like the Wyvern attack where you know you got a short range. Does a lot of damage up close. Now, this guy's attack is... He can burn things from the air, like, he does not need to be close. And I would show you from K-Mode, but his viewpoint, I'm thinking, is rigged for the large dragon. So it kind of don't work real well, getting, kind of zoom out and look at him and stuff. But, um, anyways, uh, there's been some more changes to Art Come to Life, of course. And, uh, one of those is, um... There's been a cloning machine added. There's been some grappling hooks added. And uh, we finally now have the Alpha Dire Wolf, which is officially out here. And I do believe the Barky Optics may have been removed because um, we'll fly over across the base real quick as we go across. And as you see, mine, which were on top of my base there where my Quetzal's sitting at, are missing. And, uh,. Yeah, just so you know, this dude does this blah, all the time. Like, he, he growls and does that all the time. And you can hear him from great distances away. It's a little disturbing. But, um, I figured we'd fly around for just a minute. We're not going to spend a lot of time, but uh, we'll see if we can find us an alpha uh, dire wolf. Now, I've flown around for a while. And I actually flew around for a while because I was under the impression there were some new dinos that had been added. But they haven't been added yet. It was just some teaser information about what's coming. But uh, the Alpha Direwolf appears to be incredibly rare. Um, I've only seen three. And all three of those have been really bad levels. And I haven't taken the chance to knock one out yet. But um, I figured, you know, if we could find one real quick, I'll knock it out. And then... Uh, We'll see if it's got DNA on it, if it can evolve, because I really don't know. Uh, there's not a lot of information. Um, there is a good spreadsheet that's made up for this mod, but it's kind of out of date right now. But, uh, yeah, so I just kind of figured, you know what, we're going to fly around for a minute. We'll see if we can find one. It would be awesome if I could find a nice high-level one, and then I could tame it. And uh, even if it won't evolve, you know, I'd still have a nice high-level uh, golden dire wolf. Which, like y'all know, if you've watched my past videos, I really dig the gold dinos. I think they look really cool. Um, I could have sworn there was just one over here a minute ago. I've seen one over here not that long ago, but I'm not seeing it anywhere now. And like I said, they seem to be fairly rare. Well, there was a regular dire wolf, but it's dead now. Uh, hmm... I love how when, you know, you're trying to, like, you try to show somebody something and you can't do it or it don't work or you, that one thing don't show up and then, like, as soon as you stop trying, it's just like, oh, there it is. That's how, that's, that's how it works right there. And yeah, they're everywhere. But uh, then again, <laughs> like I said, I've been flying around for a while and I've only seen a couple of these guys. Uh, there's a nice bright green dire wolf. But uh, it also seems the dire wolves themselves... The spawn may have been dialed back on them. Because I haven't been seeing nearly as many as I used to see. And I have flown all over the map. Like when um, 
I'm pretty meticulous. Uh, I used to actually map out spawn zones on the island when I played on the Xbox. And, uh, like, I could take you, if you were looking for something, I could take you right to it. Like, I knew where they spawned at. And, uh, I will fly a grid pattern back and forth across the map looking for dinos a lot of times. And, uh, in the end, it normally helps me end up learning the map. But, uh, anyways, uh, as I was saying, I've fun back and forth on this, and pretty much all I see of direwolves anymore is the poison direwolf. Look, we just, that's been three in a row right there. There's a green one right there as well. We've seen a bright green one, a dark green one, and now another green one. But, uh, that was weird. But, yeah, so, they are here. I have seen them. But they do appear to be incredibly rare, so if we find us an alpha dire wolf, then we'll mess with it. If not, then I guess uh, we'll just have to keep an eye out for one for later. But uh, we're going to head back to base real quick. And um, oh, real fast, this guy, uh, his attacks, normal, left click, right click. Like I said, great big fire. Let's see if we can get an angle on that so you can see how far it goes. And then a C is the same fire. I've tested them. They, they're the exact same attack. Uh, it'd be cool if he had a pickup move. And he he is a pain to fly. Like He flies straight and down really well. But he does not fly up very good. And he don't even fly down very well, to be told. But it's better than up. But uh, he's really hard to handle. Like You, you feel like you're pivoting on a different point than what it, you should pivot on. But, uh, I would like to get the other two, just because I like dragons. I mean, you couldn't tell. Um, oh, we've finally seen another one besides a poison down there. Maybe we'll see one as we fly home. I usually see some, a couple alphas and direwolves in general down through here. But, uh, Scorcher's spawns seem to be fairly random. For the most part. Like there are areas where certain dinos spawn at. But for the mostly they, they seem to just be kind of crazy. But uh. Anyway let's head back to base real quick. Wait is that one? No that's a saber tooth isn't it? Yeah that's a saber tooth. Yeah that's a saber tooth. You don't have to growl at it. You noisy bastard. Like after we park this guy y'all see he is like seriously he's, he's, he's noisy. And he does land pretty good. He will actually pretty much land wherever you look at, which is pretty good. Yeah, growl loud. Good grief. Alright, first off, let's go over here. I've already made one of these up, and uh, it only costs us uh, 600 metal ingots, which is really cheap considering what it does. And uh, this is the cloning, as you can see. The cloning dinos machine. And, um, we'll access this inventory real quick. And it says here, requires a matrix core for every cloning. Uh, and I'm going to kind of paraphrase these because it's the language's translation, I think, is a lot here. 70% chance of getting a dino of the level before it was tamed and leveled up. Uh, 30% chance of getting a dino after the taming level. Uh, leveling, actually, after it's been leveled up. And then a one in tw uh, between one and five chance that the dino is just gone. You lose the dino. Now, it does require a matrix core, which is really expensive. Uh, that's just, I uh, just mind blowing. Like, I mean, I get it that you're flying a dinosaur, so it's got to be a bit expensive. And um, I've been thinking about. It. I don't know which dino I really want to risk losing, but I wouldn't mind getting another one of these guys. So that I could try leveling it up into a, or evolving it into a prime. So I want to see if we can. Cl that was weird. I thought it just just looked strange for a second. Um. So I thought we'd try leveling this guy. I'm seeing if it'd give me the chance to evolve him since this one was broken, and he was tamed before a patch and he couldn't evolve, and he was a perfect tame. I was like, well, you know what? I think we'll try this guy. And if I lose him, then. That's really going to suck because he, he really is one of my best RGs right now. But uh, technically he is broke, so pretty sure I've already got the power core on me. I picked one up earlier. Okay. So, okay, yeah, let's double check this. It says, put them, requires a matrix core 
I keep calling them power core. I don't know why. So, I'm hitting E. Nothing's happening. Maybe we got to select clone closest dino? Hmm. Yeah, that doesn't seem to be working. Well, let's try this. Actually, you know what? Let's try getting the guy off the platform. We'll see if that helps. And now, for those of you who don't know, um, PC Gamer just released a new issue that's got a lot of really awesome behind-the-scenes new information about Ark's uh, uh, upcoming expansions that are coming, and it even has an uh, finally... An official release date has been named, and it's April of 2017. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty exciting. But this actual pad right here... Hmm. Right, let's try this. Let's take this and put this on him and see if that does anything. But yeah, um, what I was saying is... Um, oh, brain fart. Oh yeah, this actual pad is actually going to be the... Uh, or it's supposed to be the base for the upcoming teleporter that's being added. I guess this thing doesn't work. That's pretty messed up. I'm actually, I'm, I'm going to say this thing's broke, y'all. Like, I, it's not... I'm hitting E, nothing's happening. I hold E, select clone closest dino. Let's try picking it. Oh, let's, let's get this stuff out of it first. Maybe try picking it up. Putting it back down. Maybe something just not right about that exact spot right there. Oh, I can't see. There's metal everywhere. Goodness. That thing broke big. Actually, this looks like that might be the actual size of it when it's actually placed down as a teleporter. <laughs> because, uh, apparently we're going to be able to walk our dinos and stuff through it. It's going to be a full-on teleporter like the, uh, Stargate mod, which adds the, um, uh, Stargate to, uh, to the mod the thing, which I have, I just haven't played with. And I will always add that mod. It's, I'm a huge Stargate fan, so yeah. So yeah, it seems this is broke. It doesn't appear to be working at all. So I'm going to get my power core off of it. And uh, let's go back over here. Yeah, that sucks. Well, that's one new item down. Oh, there's an egg on the ground there. Should get picked up by the egg collector in a second. And the other thing is... Uh, there were some grappling hooks added. Now, I've gone ahead and made these. Uh, and now this... I don't know what the point of these are. Um, as you can see, I've got 998 of them. And that actually uh, makes a thousand at a time. But it takes a matrix core. Like, them incredibly expensive matrix cores right here. Which... Take one of every soul, and it's just ridiculous. Which, strangely enough, I had four in here that I couldn't account for, and I used one to make one of these. So, yeah, I don't know where these came from. Full disclosure, I have absolutely no clue where I got them at, like, at all. I don't know if that makes more than one at a time when you make these, and I just didn't notice before or what. But anyway, uh, these things, if we look at the description real quick, man, it is just noisy here. I, I'm going to have to do something about that dragon. We'll shoot too far away from you. We'll make a thousand at a time. So we know it makes a thousand at a time. But it was, says it will shoot too far away from you. Now, I, uh, full disclosure, I went ahead and tested this. Because I was really curious as what the heck it meant will shoot too far away from you. And holy crap, y'all. This thing is the super grappling hook. Now, honestly, I have the reusable grappling hook mod. I don't use it. I used to use it all the time. That and the... Um, well, pretty much all the reusables, particularly the Bola. But this thing right here is really cool, but it's just really, 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 really expensive. And what makes it so neat, though, is check this out. Like, let's... Alright, it's easier to aim this way. Boom. Alright, now. It's attached. Let's go. Yeehaw! Like... Holy crap! Are you serious? I now I don't know what the range is. Now if I fall from here, I'm I am so dead. So we're gonna we're gonna live dangerously here, and I'm gonna hit C, and yeah, <laughs> nailed it. Ugh. 
Now, <laughs> a little warning on these things. When you go down and click and, like, roll in, it rolls you, it brings you in quickly. Like, we're talking, you, you bounce. Like, you bounce a lot. <laughs> and it's a little scary. Now, I don't know how far these go, so let's see if I can maybe get myself, hmm... Nah, I'm a little little worried here. Alright. Alright, there we go. Now, I'm on the ground. Now, like I said, I know I can get out of my base with this, but I, that's what I'm really curious about is just how far does this thing shoot? And I was thinking about, you know what? I would like to go over there, but at the same time, it's really dangerous over there. I don't want to encounter a lord, so I was thinking maybe I'll go over there. And I wish you could grapple to the uh, obelisk, because if I could grapple to the obelisk from here, that would be really awesome. But um, to give it a full test, I think I'm going to go extreme. And we're going to see. And there is no way. Like, there's no way, you all. There's no way. Are you serious? <laughs> so. Super grappling hook. Like, oh, no, no, no. I just realized what I grappled to. I grappled to the, the boundary. Holy crap. Oh, oh, Tatch, get out of the danger zone. <laughs> so, apparently, oh, man, I'm still zooming in. Like, this is, this is scary, like, I feel like if I hit the ground, I am toast. I'm not going to lie. This is this is some scary stuff here. I cannot believe you grapple all the way to the boundary. Like, I was thinking that mountain right there was that mountain. Holy crap. Like, <laughs> wow, you all. So, yeah, they cost the Matrix Core. A little expensive. But, I mean... I can't believe that, like, it grapples all the way. How far away am I from the ground? All right. Uh. Well. Oh, apparently I didn't connect with nothing. Let's try aiming at the top there. And anything? Is it, is it going to, oh, I think it connected with something. Nope. All right, so it does have a limit, it appears. And, uh, man, these are expensive to be just wasted. I'm like this, testing it out. Oh, so maybe I just hit a dino or something in between. But I don't really see too much use for these for the price. Other than, say, uh, you're out on your dino, you get killed, and you got to get back to your body real quick, and you don't have another flyer. This is perfect, like... <laughs> Uh-oh. Alright, we're good. Well, we may be good. We might be in a really dangerous location. Oh, oh, bouncing all over the place. So yeah, look at that. Look, look how far I just went. That is ridiculous. Oh, and it winds in so fast. Alright. Put me down so I can, like, let's get back to base. And, oh, go, go. Ooh. Later, suckers. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm going down. I'm going down. Oh, I bounced. Wow, y'all, this is crazy. Like, I just don't know a thing about this. One power core gives you a thousand, so I guess... It's a bit expensive. If you can afford it, it's totally worth the fun because <laughs> this is crazy. Yeehaw! Right back to base. Ugh. Wow. So that's pretty cool. I. Shut up. God. That dude is annoying. Like, I thought turtles and, um. 
Raptors, oh my god, I hate to sound Raptors made for annoying, but that dragon, man, he is, that's pretty hardcore. <laughs> so, yeah, those are the two big things new. Uh, there's supposed to have been a bunch of other little changes, but they're not really listed, and I, I honestly, I have no idea what it is. Uh, uh, if you like this video, hit that like button. Comment below, let me know what you thought. Seriously, comment below, let me know what you thought about anything I've said here. I'd love to have a discussion on what y'all's opinions are about Ark unlocking... About Ark comes alive and the changes it's made. Do you like the changes? Are, are, are there things I'm experiencing that you all are experiencing? Like, whoa, look at my head there. That, that's really trippy. Dude, that side's fine. Oh, whoa, creepy. Anyway. <laughs> two faces here. But, um... Let me know what y'all think. Uh, share this so others can find it easier. Subscribe if you haven't, and stay safe, have fun, and ARC is life.